Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, the 16th of September, 2014. As we head into the start of a two-day Fed meeting, we're also in the middle of triple expiration week. So Friday is going to be a dud somewhere between Wednesday, maybe Thursday because of the Fed meeting. We should get the options unraveling move. Also understand that a lot of what's going on right now in the market is geared towards the uh, IPO of Alibaba. Uh, getting hyped about as much as Facebook did, and that's not a positive for the market, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, let's look at the indices first, and then we'll talk about what the Alibaba uh, impact is on the market already before it's even come public. Here's a look at the S&P. This is the ES futures contract uh, today. Made new lows for the recent uh, month or so, and then came back and closed uh, down like a point. Uh, it was not a big deal on the S&P side. You know, slight negative bias here the last couple weeks. Uh, since we came back from uh, the uh, winter, I'm sorry, the August uh, doldrums. On the other hand, the NASDAQ side broke here. And again, we're going to be targeting these red lines. Those are the static trend lines of the last nine bar move up. Uh, those are the target here on this rollover to the downside. There's a lot of gaps to fill in the NDX. They were all created in the uh, in the doldrum days of August. We talked about this over and over. And you're going to have to get back. The, the irony is, if you take a good look, the red line that we're going to be approaching there, just under 3,900, not only is that the static trend line target, but it's also the only gap, the lowest gap uh, that needs to be filled from about two days prior. You can see that gap there. It's at the same price level. So both are going to fulfill two things, the uh, static trend line touch and the gap fill. That's going to be our target, and we've been talking about that for a while. Um, what I will say, though, is looking around at some of the higher flying tech names, and look what happened to them today. Uh, here's LinkedIn uh, selling off sharply. Here's a look at Tesla. Uh, coming in quite a bit. We had a nice short today in Baidu coming down and breaking recent lows. Here's a look at Amazon. All these stocks breaking to the downside. That's what brought the NASDAQ in. So the question is, is this just about finally the market bringing back, giving back those August gains as we figured it would, or is there more going on? And what I would tell you is, I have a suspicion there is more going on. This is about the Alibaba IPO. A lot of money, that, that IPO is a lot of fast money that's going to want to try to be in and out as fast as possible. Uh, if they can get some of the IPO shares before the gap up that will inevitably occur, be very careful trying to trade that thing on opening day. Uh, however, it could be a complete bust like Facebook was. Uh, we don't know. If they push the valuation too high, that's not going to be easy to overcome once the trading starts. Uh, but having said that, money has to come from somewhere doesn't just grow on trees no matter what uh, some people believe and therefore it's coming out of some of the high flying stocks right now to bring money for the IPO and this happened when Facebook came public in 2012 the week before we saw a lot of selling in some of the bigger name stocks at the time and unfortunately that money ended up getting trapped in the uh, in the Facebook offering for a long time it really hurt the market that's when volume really dropped in the market back in 2012 before it took a while for that volume to come back Facebook had to get back to even a uh, full year later before a lot of that money was released because some people would just not sell at a loss. They'd rather sit and run, wait for it to come back than take a loss and move on to other things that might be moving. And so it had a major impact on the market. Let's hope that's not what's going to happen here because we're definitely seeing improved volume coming out of summer. There's a lot of stuff we can get done in the market. We just don't want it to get all sucked into the black hole that could become Alibaba and really ruin all of us. Uh, for the next couple of months. So here's the SOX index. This is the semiconductors. Obviously came in a bit uh, today. And here's a look at the biotechs also coming in. Uh, real quick, we'll look at the intraday action uh, on the futures. This is the, uh, here's the ES. The front month is now December technically. And again, you can see how the volume has come in the last two days. Remember uh, Friday, Thursday to Friday was the contract roll from September to December. Now we've got normal trading volume in the December contract, which means the technical the technicals there are live and, and the big money players have uh, are able to trade it the way they normally would. And that, that's why Friday was a little late, is waiting for that to sort of play out and set up for a day or two. Uh, but here's the ES, didn't do much. Uh, open flat, tried to push a little lower, basically covered the range of the day within the first 30, 40 minutes. That was it, uh, as much as the other stuff looked exciting. And we certainly we had some big winners uh, to start the week, but it was all on the NASDAQ side. We had the short in the TQQQ, Baidu, Amazon. Uh, we, did have, we did have a long at Goldman Sachs that actually worked. Uh, nice pattern there that triggered with market support. So it was a good day overall, real solid start to the week. And that's good because you know with the Fed, you're going to burn a day somewhere in here uh, where things are just going to be a little unexciting. But here's the NASDAQ side, open with a slight gap up and tanked. And all those tech stocks selling off again. 
focus on the Alibaba. It's a good learning experience for people who haven't been through this before. Let's see what the end game of this particular IPO is. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal11. We'll be in the trading lab calling it for our traders as usual all the rest of the week. Have a good Tuesday.